Oh, I'm back here. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. Gorillas? You're here. Why gorillas? Glad you made it. Wait, there's somebody here. Everyone's excited about the new synth project. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years Warwick. old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. And those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine Hi, mankind Doc. if we Welcome. can't even hold on so to our to own have humanity? Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. Good to meet I you. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I'll reserve judgment until I know more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. Is it to now? that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. So We've this is a hydroponics the facility. Idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Yeah, I can't imagine anything more exciting than fake gorillas. Speaking only for myself, I find them fascinating. Of course, I might be a little biased. <laughs> I'm sure Probably, I've taken up enough you of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Undecided. I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. I'm good, thanks. I'm good for now, thanks. Take care, then. Have some tools. Uh, just a couple more to talk to. Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Oh, wine, wine, wine. I will be happy to forward your request to the Institute Advanced Systems. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. The hell is she doing? Ah. Rushed work is sloppy at best and deadly at worst. Hey, Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Having fun? Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. What kinds of blueprints? Mostly components for a new plasma pistol concept I've been toying with. High energy weapons are sort of a hobby of mine. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Can I well, play with some of those? That was productive. Hmm. So what are these synth relay grenades? Privacy, thanks. Excuse me, Dr. Lee? Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Ah. Will you stop. Where are you going? I thought you wanted to talk. You fucking walked away from me. 
Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Dumb, stupid ass. Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? You're the scientist. Why do you think I'm here? Well, let's see. A Brotherhood of Steel airship arrives in the Commonwealth. You find a way to intercept our teleport signal, and now you show up at my door. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Who says I'm here to kill you? Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lions let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Okay. Hmm. Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? Well, it's got some reasons. The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? We're not asking what you to crawl. What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. What do you need? The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Mm. Oh great, and it's a red one. Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. <sighs> you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? You know, I never understood why the Institute was so damn selfish. All those innocent people up there... dying. And here I am, surrounded by technology that could make their lives better. Yet we hide down here and insulate ourselves from everything and everyone. It's not right. So you're right. gonna go back? It's not right. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Now, Can for the do. sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Well, that's good. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, Other than the it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. Yep, I do. Thank you. So one more to, to chat with. No visible reaction to the K14 now. You know the protocol. Well, Welcome to the to Institute, sir. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced Greetings, security sir. sweeps of hey, what's up? <clears throat> Ransacking my Scanning. in the middle of the night. Subject totally identified. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See the Seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some heads together. Hello. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Excuse me. I asked for. Maybe I, I can't imagine living on the surface. You guys just shut like up. Nightmare. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. Like any machine, a synth can malfunction. Just wish it didn't happen so often. 
courses on the hunt are relentless. If you see one, you should stay out of its way. I'll just shoot it like I did the others. So you've got cameras all over the Commonwealth, huh? Now where'd you go? Doc. So, here you are. Yep, just here I am. Acting Director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? As long as you stay out of my way. Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions. Hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population. Right, so you synths. recapture synths and then you brainwash them, huh? Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Maybe because Our you main treat them like slaves? The Corsair, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather I have you an know issue with it. Since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Drugs and bullets. It was useless. Uh, let's go combat. Experience. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. Okay, uh, courser training? You mentioned that coursers undergo special training. Tell me more about it. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity, fearlessness, and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen. We teach them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their former duties. Hmm. I know it'll be a difficult adjustment for you, but try to remember that synths aren't people. If they have feelings, memories, and their own will, I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Oh, where am I going now? Am I going back to talk to what's his name? Father? Return to your duties and remember to report every second you experience. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Yeah, you're the shop. Oh, he's upstairs more. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? Hmm. Eh. Nothing special. I've seen my share of think tank science labs. Oh, I assure you, none of them were quite like this place. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be dangerous without proper supervision. Such the superior as? synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If you don't want them to have free will, don't give it to them. So it's like every other wonder gizmo ever invented. When will you eggheads learn? Have faith. Let me show you how we deal with such problems. 
A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Hmm. Sure. We'll just fight our way through an army of homicidal maniacs and ask this synth to come on home. I didn't say it would be easy. But I'm confident that with a courser at your side, you'll have no trouble. I could do now it you should the get courser. moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. So there's no option to, like, let the railroad know or anything? Well, either way, I should go and dump all this crap off. So we'll do that, and we'll do some other stuff in the next episode.